Seb, that was a, a point that took some getting, that wasn't it? Yeah, like that, that's a good point. You know, like after the, the first half, I think we've been lucky. We've got to be honest, you know, in the first half, we could have conceded like two or three goals in the first half. John, John made some good save and we've made some good clearance at the back. So we came back in the second half, you know, a bit stronger and better. So we, could have been, we couldn't have been worse anyway. So I think the point is, is really fair for the both teams. It was quite a fiery game at times, wasn't it? There was a lot of frustration in the first half. I think Robert Snodgrass got arguing with some supporters. What was the, I mean, as the captain, is that where you have to come in and say a few words in the dressing room? Yeah, I think frustration is part of the game. You know, like we got to be, you know, stressed and we need this adrenaline, you know, to to go forward. So you know, Snoddy or the crowd was a bit frustrated. You know, I think the crowd forgave Snoddy. Snoddy forgave the crowd. The crowd, sorry. That's part of the game, and it was nothing, nothing big. Oh, and what about the Bradley Johnson sending off? You were you were around there involved in all that. That was um, a lot going on there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a lot going on. You know, I think that was a head to head. The referee said that wasn't. He he pushed him. Brad pushed him. That's why he got sent off. Loic Remy, headbutt him or something. You know, that's a bit scruffy. That's something maybe in another game he wouldn't have been sent off. And this game he got sent off. So that's, that's unlucky for us because we lose blood. How, yeah, how much will you miss him, if, assuming he, he is suspended? Assuming he's suspended, we're going to miss him big time. I think, you know, Brad is something, someone who's worked really hard in midfield, you know. That's, that's my little Gattuso. So, you know, I need him you know, in front of me to, you know to press people and you know he's working really hard so um, I think if he gets suspended we're going to miss him but I think we've got a lot of players who can fit in. You played alongside Ryan Bennett the last two games, two clean sheets, how impressed have you been with the way Ryan Bennett has come on this season? I know Ryan you know for now almost a year and a half so Ryan is a good player, Ryan is someone who needs to play and when he does play he needs confidence so what, he ha what he's been asked to do is he did it well. Honestly, I can't, I can't ask him more. You know, he scored a goal, a winning goal, two weeks, ten days ago. We got, we got, we got to keep working together, and you know, try to keep, to keep the most clean sheet we can. What, what is this month like when the, the transfer window is open? And I suppose you never quite know who's going to be coming, who's going to be going. What, what the training ground's going to be like by the end of this week? Yeah, but you know, the January transfer window is always a, a tough one. You know, it's a short one, so. It's, it's hard to get some some players who can fit in straight away. You know. So yeah, but you know we can, we're quite used to it now. We just we just know like if someone is coming in, he's going to add something you know good for the team. So it's going to be an asset for us. So we just trust the, the board and you know the staff. Do you think you need that? Do you think you need one or two new faces just to keep you going? I don't know. You know, like I'm not I'm not in charge of it. So if you bring someone, we're going to welcome him well. So. If he doesn't bring anyone, you know, we'll deal with that. I think, you know, we got a strong squad, a good squad, you know, good men. So I think with or without someone, we're gonna we're gonna stick together and work well.